Hi, I'm Kevin Rich, consultant to the Perth Met. Silver has been one of the most popular investable commodities over time, but often takes a backseat to gold in the press uh, when they talk about precious metals. A big reason silver is so valuable in your portfolio is the diversification it offers. Um, correlations between asset classes are measured differently, but broadly speaking, we see silver has a very strong correlation to gold over time. Um, a still positive yet less strong correlation to other industrial and base metals, and a very low correlation to other investable commodities, including the stock market. And as we know, having lowly correlated assets in your portfolio offers a much, much smoother investment ride. Um, silver has also been a traditional kind of go-to um, asset in uncertain times. As the COVID pandemic set in in 2020, silver started the year at about $18 U.S. an ounce, um, but finished the year strongly, well over $26 an ounce for a 47% gain that year. 2021, silver started off very strongly, um, breaking through $29 an ounce, but it quickly retreated in the low 20s um, for many um, reasons. Uh, some of our investors took advantage of this price weakness to stock up on coins and bars, so we've seen strong demand at the mint. Um, silver is also not just a financial asset, but it's a very um, well-used industrial asset as well. Um, silver is a key component of solar and wind technology. And so as the um, energy initiatives um, evolve away from fossil fuel towards more safe, environmentally safe investment uh, uh, initiatives, uh, silver should be the beneficiary of that. We should also note gold has many of the same similar um, features that we talked about with silver, and there's a silver-gold ratio that the industry watches very closely. So when silver gets underpriced or overpriced relative to gold, we see traders um, and investors taking an advantage of that. Um, another thing that's important to talk about, you know, we've talked about price returns. It is price returns. We've talked about, you know, correlations and volatility, but it's important that any asset you add to your portfolio gives an opportunity for price returns. And we've seen over the years, uh, silver has very strong periods of price return and then periods of weakness as well. So it's important with silver and with any investable commodity that you um, rebalance um, periodically so you can take your gains in strong periods um, and restock during the lower periods. So for all the reasons we talked about today, um, we think silver is a great asset to keep your eye on. Thanks for joining me today and have a great day.